Today we have a question from Rich, and Rich asks, how can I enter a contractor bid as a line item? My contractor never gives me a labor and materials breakdown, so I only have a total to go from. Thanks so much for your question, Rich. I'll show you how to do that right now. So to call this kind of an item out on my estimate, the first thing I would do is hover over search part library, and I'd select this option to create a custom part. And then rather than using this simple view where I have to enter in just a material or labor cost, I'm going to click standard. So I have a few more options as far as how this is going to calculate. Uh, so first I'll enter a description and we'll just say this is install drywall. I'm going to select a category. We'll say this is wall coverings, 28. And then I'll scroll down here and take a look at my calculation options. So for something like this, you'll want to click subcontractor cost calculation. And since we just have a flat rate amount for this item, instead of using this dollars per unit calculation type, I'm going to click dollars per unit and I'm going to change that over to lump sum right here. So let's just say it's going to be $1,000 to install this drywall just going to be a subcontractor cost total for $1,000 without a material and a labor cost and without taking into consideration any kind of square footage or uh, quantity we've set up at the top. And then if we wanted to remove markup or change the markup just for this item, we can click markup right here, uncheck project markup, really uh, however you want to calculate this, you can set that up pretty easily. Uh, so once everything looks the way we like, we're just going to click save, and that's going to add to our estimate. We just see $1,000 total for my subcontractor cost. Thank you so much for joining us for answers to more questions like Rich's. Head to help.clearestimates.com slash punchlist.